in this video i'm going to share with you the pocono market update thanks for tuning in make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and let's get right into the content this data here is from march 1st of 22 to march 31st of 22 so last year the same month so this year 2023 the same exact time frame is i want to look at how many units sold this is last year 404 sold medium list price was 240 the medium sold price was 245 353 so about 50 less you got medium list price 239 but look at this medium sold price 235 and that just tells us that this whole interest rate we're seeing a correction we're seeing a significant decrease the challenge with this guys is that it may not seem like a lot but if we continue to have these kinds of drips and drips and, and negative equity coming out of our properties this can become a real problem if the market doesn't stabilize really soon the good news is that we're in spring now and the buyers should be coming out and interest rates have gone down they're kind of stabilizing so that's good news pending 375 in 2023 and pending 428 so we're seeing less transactions in 22 new listings were 610 and in march of 23 it's been 523 so we're seeing less people coming to the market we've been talking about on this channel and on my podcast that people that have these low interest rates are not going to hit the streets they're most likely not going to hit the streets where are they going to go if they have a three percent interest rate and now they got to go to a six or six and a half percent interest rate that doesn't make a lot of sense so these people are hanging tight and this is why you're not seeing a lot of listings come on the table so guys that are playing right now a lot of i can speak for the pokemon mountain i'm seeing a lot of investors are actually putting stuff out in the market right now but there is a big difference as you see the inventory has swollen up look at current actives for march of 2022 i remember last year looking at this inventory and saying oh my goodness this is crazy 145 units right current active it was it was insane and look at where it's swollen up to today 1278 look at the medium list price for this year of that 1278 it's 195,000. When we look at last year, the medium list price, because of course it's a weighted average, it was only 49.9. But look at the average list price was 294. And when we look at this year, it is 288. So we're seeing some corrections here in Monroe and Pike County specifically. That's very, very targeted. So Stroudsburg, East Stroudsburg, Toby Hanna, Bartonsville, all of those areas here, Pike County, Milford area. That's what this is covered in Bushkill. So those of you that come from New York, New Jersey, and you want to know what's happening in the market, this is real time what is happening here right now in the Pocono. So here is the whole entire region. This is a whole Pocono mountain region. And what I'm showing you here is the sales price. And I want you to look at this chart. So this includes all of the surrounding areas. Look at the medium sales price from February to March, we're seeing from $259,950 to $275,000 increase. So surprisingly, and not so surprisingly, prices went up in the whole Pocono Mountain area, right? I showed you a moment ago was Monroe and Pike County. Now, this is the whole mountain, the whole Pocono Mountain. We went up, and the reason being, my suspicion is that because interest rates have been decreasing for the last six weeks in a row, and now they're they're six, six and 6.3, 6.5. The buyers are coming out and the sellers are holding to their prices, to the higher prices and the buyers are paying them. But here's what I just wanna show you. This this goes back five years. And when you look at the Poconos, and this is my, my thing with real estate and real estate investing, is that real estate investing is very forgiving on the long term. And when you look at, the, at, these, at, this, at this timeline here, you look at February of 2018, this just blew up. That's the challenge. It just went up too fast. So this is five years ago, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. That's five years ago. The average house, the medium house in the Pocono Mountain region was 130000 to today in 2023, it's 275000 So if you had invested in a property in, or bought a property or you would have purchased a home here in the Poconos for one thirty in February of 2018 you would have paid 130 and that same property would have doubled in value in just five years here in the poconos real estate is very very forgiving let's look at what the averages are the average went from 279 to, to 297 from february to march and in the springtime we see sellers come out because buyers come out so kids are are going to be getting out of school in vacation so people can move 
But again, it's going to be an interesting time because interest rates are going up and interest rates having been this high, those sellers that have those 3 and 4% interest rates, I want to see their behavior. People, I think that people are only moving when they have to move because of a life occurrence, a job or something like that. I don't. I, I think that the majority of those people are not going to move if just just to move to relocate when they have those 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 interest rates. Days in the market. Let's look at what the days in the market average. We're going to say it's about 55 days in the Poconos. And but look at what's happening here. From 2020, it went up, of course, COVID, and then we just went way down. Look, just like the rest of the country. And in December of 2020, we were at 14 days, average days in the market. We hit in May of 2021, we were at nine days in the market. That's insane. Nine days in the market. I remember those days getting 50, 60, $70,000 over asking on my flips. And now in March, we are up to 36 days, an average of 36 days in the market from 41 February to 36. So um, not too bad. The Poconos is, is not that, that the Pocono Mountain as a region is not bad at all. We are holding our own and that's a good thing. This is a good market to be playing in. So guys, what this tells me here and what I kind of gathered from looking at all of this information is that while interest rates are going up, yes, prices are dropping. Those are fundamentals. I think that the market is starting to stabilize because 6.3% having been the interest rate coming down in the last six weeks is not a bad rate. It's actually a decent rate. Historically, the historical average for a 30-year mortgage in our country is about 7.5%. We've been in a time where interest rates, we got addicted to cheap money and that's become a problem. Now, 6.3% is, is a reasonable rate. What I what The point I'm making is that with inventory levels at the levels that they are at right now, we are still having a shortage of housing in this country and that still needs to be solved for. I recently interviewed someone on my podcast and he said, no matter the time, the economic times that we're going through in the, in the country, recession, depression, people will always buy houses. So as long as there's a demand for houses and there's a shortage, there's still a marketplace to do deals and to buy real estate and make some money if you're an investor, if you're a buyer, there's always opportunities for you to find deals, especially right now as inventory is starting to pick up, but still inventory is very low. So guys, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and share it with someone you know. Really would appreciate it. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video to the very end. If you want to continue to watch videos like this one, click this video right here. I think you would enjoy that. And if you want to continue to learn from me and learn how to create wealth through real estate investing, check out my online course. It's in the links below. It's how to get your first off-market deal in under 60 days or less. Thanks again for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Peace out.